after watching hours of YouTube videos discussing aspect ratio and trying them out for myself, I thought I'd actually get some data and put it down and look at it and we can review this together. I went into aim react and I set it to 15 seconds and switched between each aspect ratio after three tries and I gave each one a chance to be at the start, the middle and the end and then I filled in the spaces for 16.9, to 16.10 to 4.3 and then 4.3 to 69 to 16.10. I averaged them out and then I highlighted all the lows in red and then the highs for each round, whatever the highest score was, in green. After getting all the averages, you can see some parts where I was kind of low and I don't think they were really actually accurate. I think there were more hiccups in it. That's in terms of consistency with the aspect ratio, I feel. With 4.3, my high was 29, that was the highest, and I reached it three times, and the lowest was 25, and I reached that three times, but I also had 26 twice, so it leaned more towards the lower end of the score, and not as consistent. With 16.9, I had a high of 30 twice, and I had a low of 24 once. These are the hiccups I'm talking about. Same with the 16.10, how I had two 25s. I feel like they were just hiccups, because I remember doing them and in the moment I kind of had like these thoughts in the background kind of just losing focus because of me trying to do this test at the same time. 1920, I definitely shot higher in the averages compared to 4.3. In some cases 4.3 won once, but 16.9 didn't win at all in terms of averages. 16.10 won three times and had the highest high as well. The lowest low was 25 twice on 16.10. 4.3 and 16.9 both got around 27, 28, and then 16.10 was the only one that shot above 28. In terms of consistency as well, you can see that 16.10 was always winning. 4.3 has a wider range of numbers that I would hit in, so I'm more consistent in hitting lows with it compared to hitting highs. With 16.9, I'm hitting highs more frequently than I am with low scores, but there still are the hiccups and one of them was 24, so that's the lowest out of the whole thing. 16.10, I did hit two 25s, but I also hit two 31s, so it's another wider range of scores. I would say 16.9 was a lot more thinner range until I hit that 124, and then 16.10 is more higher range in my scores, except for the 25s as a hiccup, I feel. Another factor I wanted to take into account was field of view, and field of view is kind of iffy for me because I feel that also curved monitors and the size of monitors could potentially affect it, but I don't really know exactly if it will. One thing I noticed was flashes. Another thing with 4-3 is you're going to have to make sharper turns around corners, which is more time spent. And also he is out of your screen compared to 1920 by 1080, where he would be in your screen sooner. So in 4-3 though, since you are turning around a corner sharper, that's less time spending on an enemy if he is there to kill him. In 16-9, you might not turn around a corner as sharp as you would in 4-3 causing you to have to spend more time to actually find where his head is. That also gives the pro of 16.9 when the enemy isn't there and somewhere else, you get faster reaction time because of the larger field of view. This doesn't affect me too much though because in 16.10 it's right in the sweet spot of 4.3 and 16.9 leaning more towards 16.9 in field of view, but you still get more thickness in a player model. What I learned from making this video is Whatever first thought you have when you're looking at the aspect ratio, if it's 4-3, if it's 16-9, if it's 16-10, whatever first thought you have that you feel comfortable with, don't go off what other people use, what other pros use, just go after what you feel is best for you.